Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree please rise? closing remarks. <laughs> Professor Martin's laboratory studies mechanisms of tumor genesis, and he has always been a strong supporter of undergraduate education on campus. <clears throat> MCB graduates, on behalf of Chancellor Virgino and the deans of the College of Letters and Science, Congratulations to all of you on your graduation. Welcome to the ranks of Berkeley alumni. So people say, as I think you know, that undergraduates have just four things on their mind. Sex, sex, food, and sex. <laughs> But I hope that now that you're graduates, and as a result of your time here, you'll have something else on your mind. Perhaps biochemistry, perhaps one of those RNAs, or genetics, or immunology, or neurobiology, or one of the many other areas that you've been exposed to here at Berkeley. Society tends to view university training as an economic investment. And it's true, the dollars that you and your parents have spent here are an investment, and a good one. There are countless studies that show that every dollar spent on a university education yields many dollars in return, both to the individual student and for society at large. But I like to think of a university like Berkeley as a sort of Disneyland. A, a Disney, but a Disneyland of the mind. A place where you can learn the pleasure of learning. Over the course of your lifetimes, you're going to hear about new discoveries. Discoveries about why we age, or how we think, or how mankind evolved, or about human genetic variation. And as you read about those discoveries, I hope you're going to continue to share a sense of excitement and wonder. Berkeley is widely acknowledged to be the finest public university in the United States. It's a, it's a place where students are taught by Nobel Prize winners, by National Academy members, investigators from the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, uh, and leaders in their fields. But Berkeley is more than a place in which you're trained for a profession and exposed to cutting-edge edge research. Berkeley is a place where we try to level the playing field in our society, with only talent and hard work required for entry. A third of all of our undergraduates come from families that make less than $45,000 a year. We have more students on federal Pell Grants than all of the Ivy League universities combined. and 30% of our graduates are going to be the first in their family to graduate from college. Yeah. 
Now, as Mike Marletta told you, in a democracy like ours, it's important that the electorate be educated, that voters understand issues such as the use of stem cells for regenerative medicine, or the impact of humanity on the environment and the global climate. From every point of view, a university education is a public good. But alas, politicians have woken up to the fact that they can shift the financial burden of higher education from society at large to the individual student and his or her family. So the tuition that you students have been paying has been going up and up and up. But we at Berkeley are absolutely determined to maintain public access to higher education. Our tuition, our tuition is still far lower than that at our peers, the Harvards, the Princetons, and the Stanfords and student debt at Berkeley remains lower than at any comparable institution. So, I'd like to urge you and your families to continue to stay connected to Cal. When you get the MCB transcript in the mail, don't throw it out in the trash, take a look at it, see how we're doing, and write to us to tell us how you're doing. And if you make it big out there, if your biotech startup is a success, or if you make a bundle as a neurosurgeon, Please make a contribution to the G. Stephen Martin Italian Villa and Ferrari Retirement Fund. Uh, I take checks, American Express, Visa. And if there's anything left, please make a gift to MCB or to Cal. And then come November, vote early, and as they say in Chicago, vote often and tell your neighbors to vote for legislators who support California's investment in public education. Finally, a special thank you from Cal to all of the parents and families who have supported our graduates. You've given your children a great start in life. They appreciate it, and you should be proud of what you've enabled them to do. Graduates, we're proud of you. Congratulations once again, and Go Bears! So graduates, family, and friends, thank you all for participation in this joyous and memorable event. We'd like to invite you to the reception at the Campanile Esplanade, where most of us faculty members will be there to greet you. At this time, would the guests please briefly remain seated while the faculty and graduates file out. Graduates, please meet your families outside the Greek theater and leave from both the north and south gates across Gailey Road and proceed down to the reception at Sather Tower. This concludes our spring 2012 commencement ceremony. Thank you. Go Bears!